When we talk about Khadija radiallahu anha, when we speak about Khadija to individuals who are not Muslim, what are the mega speaking points you often hear? She was a businesswoman. She was older than the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. She was a widow. She proposed to him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Look at how empowered women are in Islam. A widow or a woman who is divorced? A woman who is older than her husband by a lot. A woman who is a businesswoman. A woman who wants to propose to a man. In our community, are any of those words regularly words that we use to talk about how wonderful the women in our community are? Do we speak with that same passion and love that we speak about Khadija radiallahu anha? Or do we tokenize those items, express them to say, look at how beautiful Islam is, but women who are struggling in our community do not feel that same love? And that's where that question comes from. When you look at Khadija radiallahu anha, and the way that she was the woman who supported the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam received the revelation, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem, Bismillahi Rahman Rahim. Iqra bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq. Iqra bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq. Who did he run to, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? He ran to Khadija radiallahu anha, and we know about this part of her story. Someone who comforted him, someone who cared for him, someone who held him, covered him, covered him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We know about her as a wife. We know about her financially supporting the da'wah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We know about her and the mothering that she cared so much for her children, radiallahu anha. But do we know of her as a political rebel? Because Khadija radiallahu anha didn't simply accept a message that said change your private belief and tell no one. Khadija radiallahu anha accepted a belief which brought societal and economic transformation. That is a political revolution. And she put her body quite literally on the line. She literally died because of this message radiallahu anha. And yet when we speak about her and we don't speak to the reality that we experience as women in the same way that the ummahat or that the companions who were women experience, sometimes we feel so far removed from them.